Welcome back everyone, my name is Arvind Reddy and today we'll talk about a topic which is one of my favorite which is programming language. Now the thing is I want to talk about this from a long time, it's just that you know I was not able to convey my message but then today I have an example and the topic is programming language is not just a tool. In fact you know previously we made some videos about top 5 programming languages, top 10 programming languages and not on just this channel. We have so many YouTubers talk about the same thing you know top 10 languages, top 5 languages and then that's, that's a good thing right because you know we have certain websites which talks about the stats like we have GitHub which talks about what major languages which are there, uh, we have Stack Overflow. So the thing is, if we talk about these languages and then we, yes, we do love to talk about languages and then there are some comments which says, you know, we should not be talking much about languages, we should, fo we should focus more on uh, the other technologies and that's right, the other technologies is something we have to focus more. But then don't underrate a language. The thing is, we have so many languages nowadays, right? We have more than 1000 languages and out of which we do use 20, 30 languages in the industry. Now you can name them, right? We have C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, Kotlin, Go, and we have so many languages in the market. Now, can we simply go for any language? Now, it's just a tool, right? Now, a lot of people will simply say, hey, programming languages are just a tool. That doesn't mean you can choose any language, right? So based on the technology or based on the project you're working on, you have to choose a proper language. Now some people also believe that once you learn one language you can use it everywhere. Example JavaScript, you know JavaScript is there everywhere. You just name a technology like we have website, web development, we use JavaScript. For mobile development we use JavaScript. Uh, for machine learning we use JavaScript. So we use JavaScript everywhere. But is it the right choice? The same goes for Python. Now Python can be used everywhere. In fact some people believe that you can make Android applications using Python. We can but then is it a good thing? Is it the right thing to do that? Now that's a thing. You can't use one language everywhere. See, for different purposes, we have different languages, right? Example, if we talk about the enterprise market, Java is there, right? So, in fact, Java is there in the enterprise market from a long time. So, we have C Sharp, Java. These are languages which are running the enterprise, enterprise market. Now, yes, there are some drawbacks in Java and we all know about it. Java is very verbose. Java has slow updates. Right, uh, so when it comes to verbosity, yes, it is verbose and then in new versions of Java, they are trying to remove that like in Java 8, uh, they try to reduce the anonymous in a class and then other stuff as well. Now same goes for uh, other languages, example, everyone thought, hey, Java, ha Java is very verbose, uh, we, we love JVM, so let's, let's develop a language which will work on JVM, which will replace Java and that's where we got Kotlin. And Google thought, hey, Oracle is already working on Java and then they are screwing Java. Let's use Kotlin as the official language. I mean, Java is also official language for Android, but then they made uh, Kotlin as a primary language, right? So uh, that's, that's what is happening with Kotlin. And then Kotlin became a first choice for Android developers. But then Google also thought, why can't we just use one technology using which you can build apps for different platforms, cross platforms. Initially it was done with the help of JavaScript or maybe the, there were some frameworks like Ionic and other stuff. Uh, then we also had React, but now we can use Flutter to do both, right? And that's the thing, for different purposes we have different things. And what about Python? Now Python is famous because of the buzzword nowadays, right? So if you want to learn a language and if you want to get into machine learning, Python is a prerequisite. See, by learning Python, you will not become expert in machine learning, but that's a first step, right? So you have to learn Python. But why Python? Why not some other languages? Is it because Python is the best language? If Python is the best language, why we are not using it everywhere? The reason is Python is famous is because it was easy language, right? So in schools as well, they are teaching Python is because they can't teach Java. If they try to teach Java to a school student, maybe they will start hating programming language. And Python being an easy language, you can teach to anyone, right? And that's where people who are into uh, AI from a long time, they are not from programming background, they are more from mathematical background, they are more from engineering background, and they wanted to learn a language. So they went for Python, and then we got a lot of libraries, and then, now since we got a lot of libraries, people are moving towards uh, Python for machine learning, right? Now, Python is not the best language, right? In fact, uh, uh, when I made Python series, everyone loved it. Even I loved the language, but then, Will I use Python in my daily projects? Not exactly. In fact, I still prefer working on Java. I still prefer working on Kotlin. And now I'm moving towards Go. And now that's the thing, you know, the moment we started with Go, everyone had this question. Why another language? When you have so many languages in your pocket, why to go for Go? See, the thing is, 
for a long time. In fact, uh, when IT industry started in uh, in 1990s, everyone uh, started with C language, right? So they went for C++ because it was object oriented. Uh, C was good, right? We all love C. And C is fast in terms of performance. When you compare the performance of C with other languages, C is faster than Java, C is faster than Python. Now you will be saying, hey, speed is not the only thing we look for. In today's world, yes, speed is the thing we look for. Because see, the thing is, nowadays we are focusing more on data, right? So we are building applications which is uh, data intensive, right? So the moment you talk about data, the moment you talk about speed, we need a language which should be able to do concurrency in a fast space. And that's where you can use C, but then there's one other issue here. Uh, so let me give an example here. Now when Facebook was developed, Facebook started with PHP and later on they felt, you know, PHP is not able to give everything which Facebook needed because Facebook was growing very fast. They were also facing some security issues. So they introduced some new languages because they have different layers, right? So the, the layer which talk, which deals with data, they have a different language. The layer which deals with security, they have a different language. The layer which interact with the user have a different, different language. Now same goes for multiple companies, right? They started with something else and they moved to something else. In fact, Twitter, they moved to Scala later, right? The same thing happened with, now Salesforce recently acquired Tableau. Now Tableau being a company which works with data, of course, uh, you, they, they are working on some new product now which is called Einstein Analytics and for that they were using C and Python. Now why, why C, why not Python is because Python is good, the only thing is it is slow, right? They, they wanted the wrapper which will interact with the clients and stuff with Python, but the actual work will be done in C to get the speed. The only problem is every time you introduce a new feature, you have to make that feature in two languages. C, because the actual working was happening in C, and to use that feature, we need to do something for Python. And that's where they realize, hey, this is a time now. We need to go to a language which will do both, which will give you a speed of C and which will be having a better uh, way of using it. And that's where they went for Go now. So they basically, they are moving from Python C to Go language, one language, right? Uh, and that's the thing. So you can't simply say that language is just a tool or you can choose any language for any project. No, that's not the case. You have to be very careful when you start the project. Yes, you can start with any language and then you can change it. But trust me, changing your language, the backend language afterwards will take more time when you start with a good language. So why can't we just start with a language which is best? Oh, now that's, that's, that's one issue. What if you have an idea with you and then you want to make it? you will not learn a new language just for the idea, right? See, in that case, if you have an idea and then if you want to implement that, you can you can do it in any language which, which you prefer because what matters is you want to implement it. But when you have a choice, when you have a choice to choose a language suitable for that project, always go for a perfect language for that domain, okay? So if you want to make a website and if you want to make it fast, PHP is the best option, right? If you want to make a website and you don't know a programming language, learn Python. But if you want to build an enterprise application, Java will be the best option. If you want to build an, a mobile application, depend upon do you want to work on cross-platform, Flutter or React, right? Uh, JavaScript is great, but it's not meant for everything. <laughs> so, uh, let's accept the fact. So that's the thing. So that's about the languages. Uh, so I'm curious to see what languages comes up in the future, because see, company, Every company will want to have their own language, right? Google wanted their own language. Oracle had a language now. Uh, Microsoft has their own languages. Everyone want their own language. Uh, so for sure in future, you'll be having more languages, but till that point, you have to use a language which is suitable for your project. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.